Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be comparing the 2021 Hyundai Kona and the 2022 Hyundai Kona side by side. So I'm going to compare the uh, facelifted 2022 and prior to the facelift which is the 2021 Kona. So let me go ahead and show you all the features and differences uh, these Konas have. For the engines, both of them have a 2.0 naturally aspirated 4-cylinder engines. The 21 has a 6-speed automatic transmission. The 22 has an IVT, basically a CVT. Hyundai calls it IVT and it is very similar to a CVT transmission. And uh, both of them produce 147 horses and a 132 pound-feet of torque. The fuel economy number, uh, numbers on the 22 uh, they are 28 in the city, 33 highway and 30 combined and on the 21, 25 in the city, 30 highway and 27 combined and uh, the fuel economy numbers are much better on the 22 or I shouldn't say much better but they are definitely better. Here is a MSRP sticker of this 2022 Kona SE and here are the standard feature this one has and the price on this one is 23805 here is a MSRP sticker of this 2021, and here are the standard features this one has. And the price on this one is 23570 So the right Kona is the 2022, the facelifted one, and uh, the 21 is going to be on the left. The 21, the color on it is called Ultra Black, and the 22, the color on it called Cyber silver and it does look very good on the Kona. The 2022 is about two to three hundred dollars more expensive than the 21 and on the black one you're not gonna be able to see the grill that much it does blend in very good I really wish I uh, actually uh, chose the white one but I didn't know that they had a white SE till the last minute and both of them are going to be the SE trims so basically the base trims definitely the 22 is more futuristic than the 21 but I do actually prefer the uh, look of the 21 more than the 22 the daytime rank lights are going to be both LED on both of them and I personally think the daytime rank lights on the 21 are much better than the 22 and on the 21 the turn signal indicator is going to be located in the daytime rank lights but on the 22 it's going to be located actually right next to the high and low beam Overall, I think both do look good. Definitely the 22 has a more futuristic look to it. And the bottom is going to be functional. So the bottom grille is going to be functional on both of them. Hyundai badge is going to be located on the grille on the 21. And on the 22, it's going to be on the hood. Or not really on the hood, like in the front. And not a big fan of this fake vent on the 21. They did remove it on the 22. There are going to be a good amount of brushed aluminum in the bottom. On the 21, there is nothing, and both of them actually have side uh, vents or side curtains. So they're going to be a, a functional side vent right here. And this one has the same as well. Here is a side view of both of those Konas, and seriously, there is nothing different between those uh, Konas. And uh, on the 22, you could actually see the grill a little bit from the side, but overall, they do look the same. And actually, I just noticed something. The 22 has a shark fin antenna, and the uh, 21 actually has a uh, more like an old school uh, antenna. For the rims, they are the same. So Hyundai did not change the rims on the 22. So if you get the SE21 or 22, you're gonna get the same exact rims. And I think those rims actually do look very good for a base trim. And the size of those rims, they are 205, 60, 16. And overall, I think the side view of both of them do look good. The window cells are going to be finished in uh, flat black. The mirrors are going to be finished in the same exact color as the SUVs. So there is no flat plastic uh, mirror covers on none of them. But for now, let's go ahead and move to the back of those Konas and I'll go ahead and show you how they look like from the back. Here is the back of those Konas. Nothing really major changed here in the back except a few changes like the tail lights. So here is the tail light on the 21 and here is the tail light on the 22. Very small subtle changes and the bottom did change and I noticed something the turn signal indicators on the 2022 they do flash or blink faster than the uh, 21 and everything right here in the back is going to be halogen except the third brake light. 
Hyundai badges are going to be, of course, in the middle. Kona badges are all the way to the left on both of them, and all-wheel drive badges on the right. And I like the reflectors on the 22 much, much better than the uh, 21. And I really like this trim here in the bottom of this 22. Classic is going to be on the 21. So I do prefer the back of the 22 over the 21, but I do prefer the uh, front of the 21 over the 22. Here are the keys for both of them. The right key is going to be for the 21, which is the right one, and the left key is going to be for the 22, which is the left one. And uh, Hyundai did remove the tailgate button on the 22 Kona, and honestly, I think uh, they did the right thing. I think this button is pointless. It doesn't really uh, do anything. Basically, it just unlocks the tailgate, and uh, that's all. And I think just uh, all you could do is just unlocking the SUV, double-clicking on the unlock button twice. That will take care of unlocking the tailgate as well. So having this tailgate button, I don't think there is a need for it uh, but anyways both of them have uh, the same exact uh, weight they do have basically a this button right here and uh, both do not have the push to start or smart entry since they are the base trims and uh, in the back of both of them they do have the Hyundai badge I just opened the tailgates of both of them and both do not have uh, power lift gates since they are the base trims and I don't think any Kona actually has power lift gate inside they're going to be a good amount of storage place not too big but good size for the Kona a storage place right here on the right and they're going to be a light on the left and it does have this privacy cover basically it goes down and up with the tailgate the 22 has the same exact thing it does have that privacy cover and they're going to be a cubby right here on the right and they're going to be a light on the left and underneath they're going to be a spare tire in both of them so even the 21 has a spare tire because a lot of people ask me and they said that some of them do and some of them don't on the se trims on both of them the 21 and 22 both of them have spare tires here is the front door of the 21. Everything is going to be plastic. This is plastic, plastic. Even the armrest is plastic. So everything is plastic. Storage place in the bottom, speaker, window switches, everything looks okay. And uh, nothing too fancy about them. Here is the door handle. It is finished in gray. And this 22 has a tweeter. Here is the seat on this 2022. Nice and comfortable. It is a manual seat. Here is the front door on the 21. Everything's going to be finished in plastic. And this one does have the uh, gray interior. Basically, uh, this top portion is going to be finished in this uh, gray. This is plastic, but it's nice and textured. Plastic, plastic. So literally everything right here on the doors or the front door is going to be plastic. A little bit of storage place, a speaker. Window switches are the same as the 2022. Uh, and door handle feels uh, the same. Here is the seat does have the same exact design and same exact thing as uh, the 22 and does have manual seats so here is the interior of this 2022 i did actually make a full review of this exact uh, kona if you guys are interested uh, make sure you guys check out that video the steering wheel looks good it does have a good amount of binds right here on the left and the safety features or the safety um, uh, control buttons right here on the right. Wiper controls on the right and the headlight on the left. And here is the uh, gauges. They do have that nice blue ring and uh, they're very easy to understand. Brightness control, hill descent, traction control. Here is a screen. It's an eight inch screen and it does look good. It does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And here is the backup camera. And it does have a volume knob and a tune knob. Climate controls look pretty good. I do prefer them over the uh, 21. And they're going to be a storage place in the bottom. Two USBs, 12 volt. And it does have engine start stop. This is brand new for 2021. And it does have the drive modes. There is normal, sport, and smart. And it does have, you could lock the wheels. And, and by locking them, basically, they all spin at the same time. Here is the shifter that will control the IVT transmission in this 22 
cup holders nice and big hand brake and here is the storage place and rear view mirror is nice and almost frameless halogen lights that does have sunglasses holder and for the visors they're nice and light and they're going to be a mirror inside but there is no light all right so here is the interior of this uh, 21 i was in the 22 and definitely the 22 interior is much much better than the 21 and uh, this screen does definitely looks outdated after seeing the 22 screen everything else is about the same and uh, uh, actually the climate controls are different but the steering wheel design is the same uh, same uh, buttons on the right this one does not have the steering assist the steering assist is actually brand new for 2022 on the Konas this one does have lane keeping assist and it does have traction control and brightness control and the 22 has the hill descent actually right here but on this 21 the hill descent is actually located right here it does have the same exact uh, lock button and the drive mode is going to be an actual button so you click on it and there is only two modes right here normal and sport does not have smart gauges are the same steering wheel has the same look uh, the uh, controls the buttons everything is the same uh, this OK button is actually the steering assist button on the 22 and this button right here will control the screen in the middle it does have the wiper controls are going to be actually on the right and the headlight controls on the left and the AC vents are different on the 22 I think the 22 have a much better looking um, AC vents here is a screen it's an 8 inch screen definitely looks outdated and here is a backup camera I feel like the backup camera is actually a little bit wider on the 22 and there are going to be some hard buttons on the left and right volume knob tune knob AC vents here is the emergency light button it does flash climate controls uh, do look actually not bad in this 21 but I do prefer the 22 much better AC button and they're going to be storage place right here good amount of storage place right here two USBs 112 volt and this 21 has an aux here is the shifter that will control the six speed automatic transmission it does have plus and minus two cup holders handbrake and same exact storage place here is the rear view mirror it's actually different than the 22 the 22 has a better looking mirror it's bigger and the bezels on the 22 are thinner than uh, this one and it does have a glasses holder lights are going to be halogen and for the visor the visor is the same it has the same exact feel and does have a mirror inside of it but there is no light here is a back door on the 22 this is going to be finished in black since it has the black interior plastic plastic literally everything is plastic on the doors on both of them door handle is the same and it does have that texture and material uh, right here in the back and back seats are the same as the 21 uh, does have an armrest with two cup holders and no AC vents and this is how the front of this 22 Kona looks like here is a back door of the 21 this is going to be finished in plastic plastic everything is literally plastic on this door speaker in the bottom and uh, they're going to be a storage place in the bottom this is finished in gray since it does have the gray option back seats are the same as the 22 and it does have an armrest this is a little bit on the harder side there's no AC vents right here and this is how the front of this 21 Kona looks like I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me comparing the 21 and 22 Hyundai Konas side by side I would like to thank for us and Key Hyundai in Milford Connecticut for providing me those Konas if you guys are interested, I'm going to go ahead and put the information and link at the bottom of this video. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.